Do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. No blood, or anything. The crash, I wasn't alone. Where is everybody? I've got to get out of here. Leslie. Leslie Withers. I'm sorry? Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. This is a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. 
but he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. The boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. The nurses are waiting. come from. If Jimenez activates the system, you'll be pulled in. Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent... contamination. Like a vaccine? To protect me? More accurately, to hide you. We develop STEM, but there is a ghost in the system. Something we call... Ruvik. It means to keep us out. This infusion should protect you to some extent. Why send me alone? You won't be alone. You'll be with your team from KPD. You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Everything will be arranged. But there are consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. Come, sit down. We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for us. Trust is such a valued commodity in today's world. So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. Now you must back up your words with actions. Do not <laughs> waver. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to count down. And when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? Anyone? 
going on? Where did everyone go? Oh, shit. What could have done this? Come here. can force it open with the computer. Analyzing data. thing used its light.
the system is activated, you'll hear a high-pitched noise. From then, we can't do anything to help. What's going to happen to me? All I can say is that it will be unsettling. But Leslie will be in there with you. You'll need to find him. Uh, this is from before. Leslie, is he really here? Leslie is here. Okay, I gotta get to him before anything else does. Don't you ever forget. You're one of us now. The air feels so heavy in here. This is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis. And there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far, We've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts. A mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. That video. I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. This research here, this is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. In that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. I'd like you to bring this man in. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? Agent status, terminated. Please contact biometrics for re-authentication.
completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way, you know what to do. Find Leslie and bring him back. That's all that matters. I don't think anyone's gonna help me out with this. Insubordination? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I should be able to open those doors now. facilities clean is appreciated. Our workplace is a fine place because of your support. Okay, make it convincing. Detectives! I'm here! I'm safe! Sebastian! Joseph! Mobius. So they sent you to take the boy back. 
You trust him. Don't kid yourself. You're just as expendable as your partners are. As I was. After all I did for them. <laughs> we'll see how loyal you are when you know the truth. Are you alright? Do you wish to remain in the dark about information that will undoubtedly disturb you? <laughs>